or shoot. Run or shoot! Boom! Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be going for the achievement. What are you trying to prove? Survive all campaigns on expert. So we're playing every single campaign on expert. That's why this video is so long. So you might want to grab some snacks. Also, in the loading screen, it shows my username, and that's just really funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could you imagine if this is a real life poster? And that was like your full name. Bro, in the fucking comic stands. This is this is actually this is a aerial fucking stand font. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting off the video with the campaign No Mercy. Um, you don't have to play Crash Course or the Sacrifice on those maps, just the OG maps, but we're gonna play all of them for the sake of the video and also track every single achievement. Um, so yeah, grab some snacks. You, you wanna watch this while I go to sleep? Go ahead. Alright, enjoy. Yo, this is the uh, we have the infinite jump mechanic, remember? Oh my god, is it really infinite? Yeah. No, that's broken. So man, if you join us, I'm gonna kill Jibble, by the way. <laughs> On expert difficulty, if you get hit by a common once, it's 80 damage right there. And just to make things easier for achievements, we're gonna track every achievement we get. Oh, the Jesus room is still a room in this. Bro, I thought I heard a charger, bro. I was freaking out. Let's go, blind luck trophy. I don't even know what that was. Uh, vomit from a boomer and no one takes damage. Oh, let's go. The main reason why I'm tracking every single achievement I get uh, in this video is so that way it's so much easier for me to actually, like, make a future video. I don't have to find the old clips that I have. I could just delete it right after this. Pretty much chapter one was super easy. The a couple things you have to worry about, but we ended up getting a smoker achievement called Dragon Drop, uh, where you kill a smoker one before they even get a survivor takes any damage with their tongue. And then the main thing you gotta watch out on Chapter One of No Mercy is the car, and not only the car. The car is a crescendo event. If you shoot it, a bunch of zombies pop up. But you also gotta watch out for your teammates. Yeah, your teammates. Friendly fire is a big issue, you know. Oh, oh shit! Oh, surrounded me. Yeah, that, uh, I tried to shoot, but, uh... Francis! Francis! I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh my god, it went the fucking shit so quick! The best part about it is this wasn't even like a crescendo event or like an alarm event or whatever it's called. We didn't, we didn't even shoot the car. A horde just spawned on top of us since we're playing on expert. It's so much harder. But we managed to make it to the safe room somehow. The AI is so stupid, by the way. You'll see later. The AI is so dumb. I mean, look at his face. The AI is so dumb. We managed to make it to chapter 2, the subway. And while we were very frustrated with the bots, uh, my boy, Dr. Cum, he managed to, he just, he just had enough of Francis trying to steal our med kits but we ended up headed to the subway and i'm gonna just speed it up a little bit here because it's just us killing commons and it's not really that interesting and i spit ran it until i saw something interesting of note um this old advertisement remind me of a fun fact our first left for dead fun fact all right we all know the intro to left for dead one the two weeks after the infection but did you know beforehand before valve got their hands on left for dead turtle rock had their own advertisement yeah this is their own advertisement that turtle rock studio made before valve got their hands on it After going down memory lane, we ended up finding a tank, and I got two achievements from him, but man, he made me shit pricks, dude. Tank's still down you in one hit. Tank! Boy, I didn't even hear the motherfucker. They got for that mall, Tom. Yeah, burn, you oh. little bitch! <laughs> oh my god, 700. Oh my god, he's about to eat my dick. Oh, I'm dead. Oh.
After I died, it was just up to my boy Dr. Cum and the two bots, Lewis and Francis, and well, my my, my big brother, he, he kinda a G when it comes to this game, he, he a veteran. Yeah, he uh, managed to kill the tank, but Lewis died in the process of it, and it was just up to him and Francis, and what I was talking about with the bots earlier, yeah, well that came into play here. Francis is fucking useless, dude, look at Francis. Oh my god, Francis fucking sucks, he's getting hit from the back paws, and then he get- Ah, Jesus. Ah, uh, look, listen, I- I did the right play there, I think. We're gonna grab a mech hit. We don't need him right now. We'll get him later. Alright, I hate backtracking, so I had to- we had to backtrack to it. Um, Dr. Cum, he killed Francis. <laughs> he killed Francis in the safe room for what- that play he did earlier. And we just kinda left Lewis to die. We used the bots the entire time as bait going forward here. We do not care about the bots. Since we didn't encounter, um, a tank in the original part, um, we now encountered a tank here. And while the tank kinda kicked my ass. Yes, um, every time I fight a tank, I suck. I I'm not- I'm not the best with the tank. So, um, um, yeah, we ended up doing that, and this is what it looked like. You're good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The tanks are so OP in this one. He's dead. Hopefully I spawn right here. In Left 4 Dead 1, it's not like expert realism in Left 4 Dead 2. You can actually respawn through these little closet doors, and that's like the best thing ever. So we got the bots back, and I was able to come back, and we started the crescendo event, and we had it. Hey. Oh my god, he vomited on me. And of course, I got boomed on after I could do and well, I kind of got stuck in a stairwell and shot Francis by accident. Man, I am I am messing up. I, I am really messing up, guys. And uh, I'm gonna fucking get the auto shotgun. You stole my auto shotgun too, you little bitch. I'm, I you stole my auto shotgun and my med kit. Fuck him. It's mine now. I swear, if there's guns up there, I'm gonna be I'm gonna feel like a dickhead. Oh my god. Yo, <laughs> uh, no, this way, this way. We're just gonna speed money, all right? Why it open that way? Why is it open that way? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen. You can help me. You sacrifices can help me. need to be made for the team, and I am the team. All right. Help me, my ass! You saw how fast you died. You literally, literally, all you had to do was shoot the fucking hunter, and it was fine. No, uh, yo, yo, man, fuck that! I'll give you my AK, but you, yo, motherfucker's useless as shit, bro. You on your own? You on your own? Uh, sacrifices needed to be made for the team, and I am the team. Motherfucker died twice. Yeah, I am the team. Alright, chapter 3, we're almost at the hospital. I think chapter 4 is where we get to the hospital, or this is the chapter. I don't really remember. Anyway, we uh, have a crescendo event where we have to go up this weird escalator thing. I don't know why that triggers, but not blowing up the gas station does. You can just hide out in this little spot right here after you triggered the crescendo event, and you're pretty much good and golden. Um, if you have bots, the bots are stupid and won't follow you. Yeah, that's the big issue about this one, is just having two teammates that are useless. You're playing pretty much with only two people, or using them as bait. And while well, we encountered a witch. Bruh. Witch! witch. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I missed. Dog! Your fucking corpse ragged, dog! I, uh. <laughs> uh. Well, hold on, I need to clip that. Now here's the part where we act like Ninja Turtles and we drop down into the sewers, but I ended up getting an achievement along the way. They give you tanks and witches in this, they don't give a fuck. I'm assuming every chapter we're going to have to, have, have to fight a tank. Let's go, get the fuck out of here. Tongue twister. I'm going to tongue his butt. So not only is there a tank and a witch, but there's also a shit ton of, uh, uh, of comments. I blew up 20 affected with a, a junk. Your pathing is really fucked for these. I don't want to die. Yeah, I don't, don't want to go down there. I want to find them. You, you hit him. 
Despite me being down and Lewis, the tank was actually pretty easy to fight, and we ended up getting to the next part where there was another witch. There's a witch up there. I'm going to trigger her with the spike bomb, alright? Just kill the shit out of her for me. Oh, but I guess I did it. I guess I fucking suck. We can avoid her, unless you want to try to crown her again. You know, you know, you know let me try it. Let me try it this time. Huh? <laughs> I'm I, I, I've, all, I've always, honestly, I've, I've also never been good at crowning witches. To be fair, so you can't do it with the auto shotgun. Oh, you can? No, it's the pump. Oh, I was thinking different pumps. I can't believe Francis let Doctor Cum die to the witch. What a piece of shit. So we ended up killing him so that way he could get more health and because we just didn't like him and we used an old tech where you push the TV in front of the safe room door. It didn't do anything for us. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, the tech, it used to be so good, but yeah, it didn't work. And as soon as we left the safe room door, it's horde spawn, so. Oh my god. After we dealt with the horde, and you're gonna be hearing this tank music in the background a lot, cause I had to be subjected to it, there was a tank, if he throws a rock at you, like I said before, since it's on expert, he downs you at one hit, get that big and if he hits you, have balls uh, what steel, we can do is steel, just have all those shotguns, and you can get out of the box, run after him, like a crazy person, and just unload tank them. Buster. You got an achievement called Kill Tank Busters, and, and it was just fire. Was pretty much after that, had Lewis with like no health. We still managed to save him, so that was pretty good. But then we encountered another witch. And there's kind of a trend, I just wanna say. Get the fuck out of my way! I'm down! Shit. We gotta get some first aid. Doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work! Got her ass for you, yo. <laughs> Our next crescendo event is all about waiting on an elevator, and you can hide in this little room right here, and I managed to kill both the bots by accident. Hey, hold on. I may have burned Francis in my Seeing what the destruction Bill caused and I caused, it, it just made him kind of unhinged at this point. <laughs> oh, leave him there. Into the elevator! <laughs> yeah, press X, you just laugh spam. I mean, I, I laughed at them. Me and my boy Dr. Cum, we messed around in the elevator, pause, and we managed to rescue Lewis and Francis in the closet. Um, it's 2024, so no disrespect to them. I'm not gonna be mad at them for doing that. Um, we were worried about a tank uh, being on, at this park because he could just knock us off, but there was no tank or even a witch, so we were good. We made it to the safe room and we're on to the finale. Yes, finally, we're on the finale of No Mercy. Alright, No Mercy, No Mercy's finale. You go through this corridor, and then you get to the ultimate destination where you contact the helicopter, but you had to deal with a bunch of zombies. This brings us to another fun fact. Alright, welcome back to Left 4 Dead 1 Fun Facts. While you're on the minigun having a great time shooting commons and special infected, and then a tank ruins your fun, the tank will always aggro on you if you're on a minigun, no matter where he's at at the map. But the best part is, when you shoot at him, his movement speed will slow down. Now, there's another fun fact about No Mercy I'm gonna throw in here. No Mercy, it's a big map, right? The finale is a huge map. The big issue with fighting tanks is they can easily knock you off. Do not do that. Do not get knocked off. That concludes Left 4 Dead 1 Fun Facts. Um, yeah! Hell yeah! Um, mainly because I was like, let me check my audio now after we almost done. <laughs> Make sure you. <laughs> Make sure I'm actually recording, you know? Fuck, there's some speed running this part. Oh, never mind. I'm running back. <laughs> Of course, for the finale of No Mercy, we we had to have to deal with a witch, and well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sick of her, and I wanted an achievement. Stupid yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she got, yeah, clap her cheeks. One of them is gonna die. Oh, oh, no, please, not me. Not me! No, no! No! You stupid smoker! You fucking stupid piece of shit! What a fucking, what a troll! But his tongue broke on like nothing. Wait, wait, how do we how do we open the Jesus room? We have to have a zombie punch it. That's what it was. Yo, follow me over. How? 
Dude, I don't remember. Oh my god, broke my legs. Alright, so this isn't a fun fact or anything. This is kind of like a nostalgia day. So back in the day, for the Left 4 Dead 1 community, there used to be a thing called the Jesus Room where you would stand right here and the comments would break down the door and you'd be good. I'm going to show you an old video from Rooster Teeth, man, that had this, John. Break down the door. You can't blow it up. You can't take it out with a gas can. There's no way to open it. It's a it's a glitch, obviously, and it'll probably be fixed by the time the update is out in a couple weeks. So you should probably do this before that happens. You're also going to see that the two survivors coming up here are still inside the hospital for some reason. It just it seems to work. You attract more zombies with two people on the roof instead of splitting them up all over the place. You would look at it and see if the tank died here when you enabled full captions. That was a whole gimmick so that way you can go into the um, helicopter. And the whole point was just so that way you didn't get hit. It was an easy way to get untouchable as a trophy. Two common infected. Whoa, Francis. God damn, that was close. You almost blew it. You're all right there, too. That sexy little noise. Dink. Him saying that sexy little noise was a bit for me and my brother the entire time for so long. Oh, the days. So we try to hide in the closet. In Left 4 Dead 2, you actually don't have this closet here. And, well, I'm I'm not too pressed about it. This was our old tech back in the day, and it sucks. It sucks absolute ass. I don't know why we ever used it. We were stupid for using it. Because the bots don't follow us in there at all. And so they just managed to get down. We get to our next tank, our next tank fight. And like I said, you can use the minigun to actually eat his aggro but the auto shotgun is the most op thing against the tank because it does so much damage if you're near him once again we had to really make sure we didn't get knocked off whatsoever we were so low on health after that tank fight man we got our asses kicked we got our asses destroyed from that tank and i was terrified on the second tank because i had one hp and a little smoker no! grabbed me and well i thought it was the end for me but i don't know how we managed to get a heal in. Francis OG'd up by accident and ate a rock hit for me, man. I love you, Francis. I'm going to play as you from now on. You're my best friend. And he even ate a death for me. We managed to kill the tank, and now we had to get to the helicopter. Thanks for sniper. Behind us. There's a fucking tank. Jump in the helicopter now! No! no. <laughs> You the, read, dude, you, you should have went last. You should have went last, the brother. Lips, the Why, lips. dude? As soon as you turned around, a zombie who was right next to you got me. The lips, my friend, I told you to jump in a helicopter. I did as soon as, dude. I didn't know it was here already. It takes a lot longer than I for that, too. Let's go. Completed on expert. There's you're no lucky, I found the, you're lucky I found the first aid kit for you. Let's go. No mercy. So I have any campaign on expert. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't get that. Seeing a memory of Dr. Cum has to be the funniest thing ever. And then on top of that, we're going to go on to our next campaign, which is Crash Course. So for Doritos Crash Course, you don't need to do it for the achievement. But I just want to show you how easy most of these campaigns are. And while I'm very, very, very sad to say that I used the worst example here for Doritos Crash Course. And besides that, I might as well do all the campaigns since I'm only doing the four for the achievement. Might as well do all of them, you know? Like, why not? Let's just, let's just go through all of them, right? I regret everything. Oh god! I think no, he blocked he fucked himself. himself. I think he blocked himself. Oh shit, no he didn't. Move away from the cars. Now! Run! Let, just let him- HOW! We just started the campaign and they spawned a tank on us already. There's only two chapters in the campaign, but god damn! Fuck, I'm getting a heal- I'm getting a sneaky heal him. He's going- he's going through there, he's going through there, be careful. I'm good, I'm good. He's fucking, he's, he sucks. He's attacking the car. I hear him moaning. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> we start All right, I'm using a pistol only then too, shit. I don't know why we decided, hey, let's do pistols only run on the hardest campaign. I guess we really like to be, uh, you know, like stomped on or something like that. But it was one of the worst decisions we made. Thankfully, we got an achievement to make up for this. Help! Hey, look at that! Rain, rain salad, let's go. Yeah, get that trophy achievement. Ow! No! Ow! Wait, 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 wait. Where, where she died is where she killed me. No! No! 
it was up to me to clutch, and well, I suck, so I didn't. Well, we ended up fighting a tank after this, and we got two achievements. And after the two achievements, well, I'm yeah, we we died a lot, yeah. John. Hey, look. I killed a zombie. I hit it from the back. Pause. I use. What, dude? We just spawned. What do you mean? The park, the spawn, the tank, the spawn. This is not tank run. No, How did dude. his tongue not break? How did no. Bro, he curved his tongue. Bro, he curved his tongue. What did I get hit by? It's all behind. Yeah, by like the fifty thousand dollars behind me. I fucking hate Doritos Crash Course. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, he's almost dead. What did I do? What? Why did I deserve that? I did <laughs> Damn, I'm funny as shit. She literally disappeared. She It's, I don't, is it possible? Is it doable? No. What the fuck did I get caught on? <laughs> the car. There's a ladder behind you. Oh, you're dead. There was a ladder behind you, by the way. You could have up. You, you know what? I'll give you fucking props. You risked it for me. I appreciate that. Turn that tie, Lewis. What? You got a meeting? <laughs> That's funny, Francis. Why don't you take your mustache, your little vest, and your chaps and go find yourself a parade? <laughs> Francis took that very personally. <laughs> Alright, going through the motion, I managed to get another uh, another achievement, which is a clean kill, which is shove a boomer before they barf on anybody. That one's super easy to get. You can get this in versus mode, you know what I mean? You can cheese it there. But we managed to get to the crescendo event, finally, for once we got to the crescendo event where we had to fire the uh, Howizer. This is like our second time or third time being here, and somehow we managed, without Lewis, just me, Bill, and Dr. Cum, we managed to clutch up. We managed to clutch up and beat the first chapter of this campaign, by the way. This is the first chapter! We also encountered a witch after this. Kind of not really. Yeah, no, no, no. For Bill, Bill's dead, but... Ooh. Yeah, I told you Bill was gonna die, didn't I? Riverside. Oh my god! Oh, thank fucking god, that was chapter one! I think we've been doing that for two hours! Alright, we are on to chapter two of Crash Course, the finale chapter. And the finale chapter is notorious for being difficult, man. Fuck this chapter. I just want that to be said right now, because I'm about to show you why. I think it's- I think it's bu it's a bug and they just never fixed it. Bill- Bill- Bill stood in the fire and died. Lewis is going to do the same thing. Kill it. Fuck. How was I supposed to know- How was I supposed to know there was a car there? Oh, where'd he come from?! Dude, what was that? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, he jumped through the wave of horns. Dude, zombies. he jumped through the fucking wall. I didn't hear him either. All right, this time we didn't shoot the car by accident and Lewis, so we're able to actually get forward a little bit into the map. And then on top of that, me and our boy Dr. Come, while we try to uh, get an achievement where we pass pills to each other, pretty much giving aid, which brings us to our next fun fact.
All right, so back in the day, this is the menu I grew up with. This is the 360 Xbox 360 menu for Left 4 Dead 1. I grew up with this one. Um, they released the Last Stand update, and they actually changed it, funny enough. Now, this is what it looks like typically on PC. This is the No Mercy map. It changes from map to map. And then there's the one I get all the time, which is the Crash Course one. So, that was a Left 4 Dead 1 Fun Facts. The finale to the Crash Course, we finally made it. We actually made it uh, probably on our second attempt, and it was pretty easy. Uh, this is probably the easiest part of Crash Course, and I'll just show you how that went. Oh, get him, save him. Oh my god, dude, two shotguns is OP, dude. Yep, yep. Okay, are you able to call I, got, I, I got this, I got this, I got this. All right. Cover me, just cover the shit out of me. Got it. Let's go. Quick power. The sort of power was in 30 seconds of it turning off. Let's go. I think that's literally only for this, by the way. Yep. Another tank. Watch another out. tank. Help. I'm gonna try to grab him. Oh, fucking whoever killed the boomer is a goat. Wait, let Lewis aggro him. Let Lewis aggro him. Dead. Alright. Oh, he's about to be down. I would wait. Just wait. Go work. Go, 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 go. Back of it. Ooh, I call driving. Let's fucking go! Do me the crash course is done! Woo! That's just me. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god. All right, Death Toll. This has the traditional, I believe, four chapters. I, I think the fourth one is the finale. Um, it could be five. I'm pretty sure it's four, though. So we're on the Death Toll. This is where I actually do the pistol run here. If you guys saw before, I wasn't doing it in Crash Course. That's because I kept dying over and over again, and we're doing it here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dog, I ignored the pistol so much in Left 4 Dead 2 that I don't pay attention to it in Left 4 Dead 1. My pistol only run. It was so easy to get in the safe room, I had 100 health after that, and then we laughed at how long my name was. Oh, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'm not sure if you can show, uh, if you can see, like, have Discord images. I, I can, just show me the Discord, uh, just show the Discord. Oh, 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 oh no, no, shit. Uh, oops, didn't mean to show that one off. <laughs> King Bunghole, put it into SD. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the name, I get the fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a random collaborate, like fucking assignment of letters. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, super idol to the show. Making our way to chapter two, we actually got the most god tech ever. I threw a Molotov at a witch, by the way, throwing Molotovs or pipe bombs with the count. And a smoker, a smoker pretty much almost got me killed. Actually, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, the smoker got me fucking killed from the stupid witch. He he protect me. He versus tech me on expert difficulty. We also I threw a pipe bomb during the crescendo event, and there was a tank inside that man tunnel, which I didn't even know about, and I ended up triggering the tank to go after us before the crescendo event. So thank God for that. We're dead, we're dead, we got him. One of the zombies, once they go hit me, they fell into the sewer grate. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yo, yo, this, now's our time, now's our time. Push through it, push through it. I'm stuck. Let's go, I got an achievement. Oh, man, he downed me. We are finally making our way to the end of the chapter, where I'm going to talk about the next fun fact. I already talked about this before, but I pretty much want to add it to the fun facts. If you kill a bot right before you get to the safe room, next chapter they have 50% health. That's been Left 4 Dead Fun Facts. During chapter 3 of Death Toll, a hunter was trying to pounce on me, got the death stop, I stopped him, I shoved him, you know what I mean? Got, got an achievement out of it, and we dealt with the tank, and the tank really did not like Dr. Cum. I'm, I'm getting back. No oh, fucking dude. way! Yo, <laughs> yeah, that was like seeing a big, a big wave in the water. He's 
try that again, bro. He almost got it, too. <laughs> Why does he hate me? <laughs> Dude, he's only going after you. He wants to zone to see. He wants to zone to see. How would he hit me? <laughs> Yo, he this fucking to guy. So this bad. guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so There's no fucking way, dude. <laughs> I've watched the AI touch his ball sack and he still chased me. Chapter 3's crescendo event is really unique. You go to a church and there's actually a survivor behind the safe room door and he's paranoid about other survivors, so he rings a bell alerting the horde. We call him the Ding Dong Guy. During the crescendo event, I tossed pills to our boy Dr. Come, earning an achievement, and then we ended up dying right away because we didn't know the right spot for the crescendo event. Yeah, we ended up getting trashed. And we, the next time we got into the crescendo event, we had to restart the whole chapter. I was black and white from all the fights that we were dealing with beforehand. And, well, let's just say Dr. Come had a little oopsie on, the, um, on a little friendly fire. Yeah, so we had to restart it again. Somewhere. I hope the boomer booms on one of the survive for a minute. Boomer. Yeah, fucking just shoot it. If I don't shoot him when I'm on him. During the next chapter, we had a tank immediately spawn because the game fucking hates us. Reloading. Are you kidding me? What a god aimer! I can't help you at all, I'm so far away. We need to Man, you really fumbled that entire tank fight. What are you talking about fumbled it? Can you make it? <laughs> you really fumbled that. Dude, he, he fucking threw the fucking rock so perfectly. I don't need your heal, I don't need your pity. For some reason, the director of this game hates us. Whatever god is controlling the zombies. Yeah, they spawned a horde on top of us after we killed the tank. And somehow, we were managed to salvage all this bad luck and got to the crescendo event. And the crescendo event, you have to make a mad dash towards the safe room. And, well, I'm just going to show you how that ended up. I toss it, toss it. Go get in that fucking door. Hold still. I, oh, oh, he opened it. You gotta be kidding me! I shut the door, he wedged it open with his fat fucking body. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck did we manage with this crescendo event. How? How did this crescendo event go that fucking good for this for tank? Me, I, I shut the door on the tank, Alex. I shut the door on the tank, and it wedged itself in between the door, and it did shut away and did the stun animation for him, and he just got stunned <laughs> inside, and the door opened. What the fuck? Honestly, dude, I'd rather have a tank spawn there, because it's so much easier to run by him. We are on the finale of Death Toll. I believe we have two more campaigns after this. Two more campaigns of pure dread. I mean, it's so far, it actually hasn't been too bad. I think Crash Course was the worst so far. But besides a couple minor hiccups where we get absolutely destroyed in the beginning, we still managed to salvage that and got to the finale. Now, for the finale for this one, you can hold out where the boat... Yeah, there's a boat that comes to rescue you. You can hold out where the boat actually ends up. And for tanks, they're relatively easy to fight. You just gotta watch out for the rocks. You, the boat shows up exactly where uh, you can hold out right here. And yeah, that's what we ended up doing. And it was super easy. Like, we just destroyed the tank every single time. No, dude, he fucking jumped over me. So he got stuck in the air and it randomly flashed on me. No. Oh. Over there. Behind the rock. He's on you. Alright, he's yeah. on us. He's going to the house. Oh, there it goes. Fuck, are you? I broke it. He's dead, he's dead. I don't know where the fuck the boomer's at. Get that fuck on the boat! I oh, feel got on. Let's go. Oh, if he lose. Oh shit, the flying bug! That might fail, I don't know. Ugh. 
we managed to get the dual pistol achievement and we managed to get toll collecting. Right, dead air is our next campaign and well to start off dead air dead air has a cool little cinematic where an airplane flies overhead and well we had a bug where we couldn't see fire at all and then on top of that like we would see these like weird particles explode i say we head there oh oh i'm so I, i'm like i want to use more um i want to use I want to use like fucking uh, uh, only pistols this time, but like I don't need to. Are you gonna do pistol only on this one? I'm fucking done with it, bro. <laughs> I don't think I want to for this one. This one's yeah, no, it, it sounds no. All right, I'll do it for blood harvest. Blood harvest, blood harvest, harder than death toll. Yeah, I'll do it for the harvest one. I'll be the goat. Oh god. I'll be the goat. You're gonna be you're gonna be Lily the Zoe AI. Just she has a hunting yeah, rifle, but just using yeah. a pistol. To yeah, but not bad. Yeah, but not teleporting. Ah, yes, this is my favorite map as a charger. The charger is honestly one of the best special things we had so far. That's so interesting. Personally, I think the spinners are really good. The fuck? I'm shooting. I'm shooting projectiles and these weird like pixels. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I, I don't know. Dude. What the fuck? It's a weird texture issue this level. It's like, it's like pictures of food, look, look, shoot the bed, look, shoot the bed, come over here, shoot the bed, it shows you pictures of like, food and shit. Items. What the fuck? Um. I no, won't. Nothing else does that besides the bed. Oh yeah, it's like a air texture for the feathers. Yeah, we tried to restart the campaign to see if it worked um, after, and well, it did not work at all. And I feel like it made the issue worse, because now when we throw the pipe bomb the pipe bombs particle explodes and like I said before we can't even see fire at all so we have to take an educated guess on where somebody throws a Molotov so this is going to suck and it's like that for the entire campaign for at least half of it by the way we restarted so many times I end up throwing off myself up a building because how cursed this run is in the beginning we even tried it again and it still was doing it, it, it no matter what we did fixed it um for some reason, the pipe bomb particles were fixed, but the Molotov was not, and we ended up chasing a smoker that was trying to tongue me into a bathroom. Why are you running? I got you in the bathroom! Yeah, I got you in the bathroom! Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Go take a shit. Close the door, give you some goddamn privacy. We ended up finishing up chapter 1 of Death Toll with, um, no casualties at all. Like, nobody died whatsoever. We did pretty good, and we moved on to the next one. Right. Look at that, he didn't kill shit, he deserved to die! We really let him get killed by the hunter. <laughs> why, why was that? I, I'm looking back on the footage, why the hell was the hunter watching him through the fence, like, stalking him? What, like, what the hell? It's so, I, I didn't even script that, that's not even scripted, man, it's just crazy. So we ended up going through the apartments, and we, I almost get absolutely destroyed by a smoker because I ran too far ahead. But we got saved, and then the witch was doing a uh, cheese spot, and the hunter was doing a protect, which brings us to our next fun fact. In Left 4 Dead 1, if the special effect it hits a witch while you're near it, the witch will chase you. This implies for versus mode as well, and it will instant aggro the witch if you get near her, and she will end up chasing you right away, and most likely killing you. So that's been Left 4 Dead 1 Fun Facts. The, the hunter is attacking... Hunter! He's trying that PvP strat. It worked! It fucking worked! The hunter also got shoved too, by the way. Like he ended up doing a whole dance after I got killed. He was he was straight break dancing to this beat, honestly. All right, for the crane crescendo event, you could just run back into the apartment and throw a bunch of fire. Also, the fire physics are now working for us, which is very weird. But I want to showcase to you guys: we beat the crescendo event. Uh, how stupid the bots are! The bots are so dumb. He was just gonna stare at her, and now he's gonna walk up her. <laughs> you can't, you can't make this shit, shit up, man. Whoa, damn bitch! Whoa, what? Okay. Don't worry, you won't fall. I have you. Let's 
Oh, boy. Morgan shows up, we lose a run. I would be so pissed. Alright, going forward, we actually had to fight another tank, and the tank completely wiped us. We only had two people. When you throw a Molotov at a tank and it's on fire, the tank actually moves so much more fast than normal. I don't know why this is the case, but it only applies to Left 4 Dead 1. In Left 4 Dead 2, it actually does not make him faster at all, and it's a pro tech to throw a Molotov at him. In Left 4 Dead 1, it's not really a good idea to do so. Also, to showcase how dumb the bots are again, this is something that happened as well. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Look at Lewis. Lewis. Slowly Why aren't you Lewis! Lewis! What the fuck? And he got bounced. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We're stuck with, with robots that are acting like this. I get this game came out like 2008, 2009, but holy hell, why are they so dumb? If we had four people, this whole thing would be so much easier. Also, I ended up getting killed because I tried to crown the witch in the bathroom. Man, it's so hard because she fucking arches her back like a bad bitch. We ended up getting to the next chapter, and this is where we're gonna add another fun facts about the next chapter. Alright, after shooting the plywoods for this Conchendo event, a horde will spawn because an explosion will happen. You can just run back to the safe room. Uh, you can't do this Left 4 Dead 2, but that's been Left 4 Dead 1 Fun Facts. Uh, ideal. I go, I go, I go, I go. It started it. Go. Like how it is in Left 4 Dead Fun Facts, we actually just used the safe room to completely cheese the crescendo event, and we went by it so easily and so fast. We fought another tank here, and we destroyed this tank. I even teabagged him for good measure, and we encountered a witch right after that. Skybridge. <laughs> Every time. Dude, I don't know what the fuck. It's so hard to do that anymore. Yo, you gotta run, brother. Oh, you fucking- isn't this the second tank? Yep. Oh, you fucked me with that molly. I didn't expect you to run forward. Ah, don't speed him up, big bro. Honestly, Big Bro came in clutch. Dr. Cum really showed what it's like to have a big brother. He managed to clutch every single time some crazy play happened, everybody was dead, he managed to clutch every single time. We were able to get to the next chapter because he was able to clutch that shit right up. Alright, we're just speed running this. We're on the next chapter. We had to start this van for another crescendo event and it destroys the blockade and we have a bunch of zombies that spawn obviously because it's a crescendo event and we use a pro tech where Lewis gets boomed on to progress through the map. Q, that's my Q, that's my Q, that's my Q, that's my Q. Whoa, I got launched! I got launched! I jumped on the zombie's head and I got launched into orbit! I mean, I ran through this map. I mean, there's another thing that can start a crescendo event. Also, there's a tank I, that was in my way, but there's another thing that can start a crescendo event, which is a metal detector. You can just simply go around the metal detector. In Left 4 Dead 2, you can't, but you can just do that. That's just a little, like, nice little tidbit for you. But I ended up booking it straight through the tank, obviously walking around the metal detector, so that way not more hordes of zombies come, and I was able to easily get to the next chapter. <laughs> I think the second boomer that showed up that boomed both me and Lewis as we're dying that actually just made us win. <laughs> yeah, I think. If you get boomed on, or a friend gets boomed on, or the bot gets boomed on, pretty much if you run through the map, no commons will spawn whatsoever, so you can just completely run through the map. So that's been Left 4 Dead 1, fun facts. The finale of Dead Air is super insane, so a plane immediately crashes, but the plane that we thought was going to rescue us crashes immediately, and well, that opens up a bunch of jokes that we can actually put in here. Oh no, we're not Buzz, we're not aiming for the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Behind this wall where a set of double doors are is going to be our holdout point because all those commons and specials and even the tank will spawn out in the open and we're able, able to mow them down so easily. Yeah, remember the door all the way back here? Oh, people are like, man, this expert challenge bullshit. So, bro, we just 
right here. Literally, this door does not exist in Left 4 Dead 2. All right, all right. You start it. I'm gonna hide in here. That way, no zombies can spawn in it. Bro, that's clearly used to make zombies spawn. But why did they leave it in, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna farm it. All right. So we got the, this part right. So we're pretty much shooting and mowing down every single zombie that we can. They're coming out in the open, left, right. It doesn't matter. We even have the bots that act as turrets. They're pretty much our turrets in our eyes. Anytime we get a tank that spawns, we either bum rush them with shotguns when somebody gets down, aka the bots, or we jump on a minigun and use our left for dead. Two fun facts. Go, 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 go! No! Alright, just get in, just get in, just get in! Fuck them! <laughs> Fucking Christ, they suck ass! What the hell's going on with the AI? <laughs> you see, you see it? There's no music playing too! Dude, he's still on fire? As soon as that. He got on fire as soon as the wave started. He's still not dead, by the way. Keep that in mind. That's how long it takes for him to fucking die of fire. <laughs> Four times I tried to grab the wave. One teammate! <laughs> <laughs> one teammate! Lewis healed one person, <laughs> yo. No wonder fucking right. dying. Blood Harvest is our next campaign. Blood Harvest has to be my favorite map in Left 4 Dead 1. Um, that or No Mercy. But Blood Harvest, I think all of them take place in PA, Pennsylvania. But Blood Harvest really feels like some, like, fever dream of Pennsylvania in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere. I love it. Dude, it feels so creepy. It's so weird. Zombies hide in the trees, which you have to, you have to, like, be on alert, especially on Expert, because they'll destroy you if you get caught off guard. And on top of that, the specials can hide in the trees as well. We had a bunch of times where I got down because I just tried to run ahead and I was being stupid. And another time that I was being stupid was the time where as soon as I got picked up and managed to get saved by Dr. Cum once again, um, I ended up killing Lewis thinking he had low health. I wasn't really thinking about it and it, my boy Dr. Cum was so pissed like, why did you kill him? And so he killed me out of spite just because I messed up that bad. But then we had a horde that spawned on top of us in the next chapter. Oh my god, there's a fucking horde. Oh shit! It feels like we're flying through some of these chapters. It's because we it, they were so easy that we were able to actually do so. And for our next crescendo event, you open this door and it rings an alarm and a horde spawns. So all you have to do is just really set up. You can hide in this little spot and you're good. Zombies will actually jump down from the vents, but... Overall, it's not too difficult. It's actually relatively easy, and you just get through this so fast. Let's go! My bodyguard, let's go! When commons are trying to jump up on top of this little thing, a protect is if you are standing on top of where they land, they can't get up where they're at. Uh, besides almost getting assassinated by a hunter, we ended up dealing with another tank. You say magnetized? Shit! Fuck you, Bill, for fucking using this stupid fucking pills. Are you below 40? Oh, it's advanced weapons here. I'm fucking. Where is he? I don't know. Um, I think he's stuck over there somewhere. Let's wait here for 10 seconds. I think he died. <laughs> the, the awkward chirping of the fucking. This is a with low health, you know what had to be done. I needed to get 50% more health after. In here. Uh, you know what you gotta do. Alright, fine. Come in here and do it then. Ah, uh, yeah. At least let me drop my gun. Yeah. I'm a fat bit. Door. You bitch! <laughs> Look at this smug piece of shit looking at me. Bill. Ready, guys? Bill. Alright. Bill. Okay. Bill. <laughs> Why? You're looking at me what funny. happened? You're looking at me funny, man. He gave me the same thing. Oh, Fuck Bill, we didn't need him anyway. So we get to this is chapter three, by the way. We're already on chapter three this quick, and we ended up getting pulled by a smoker and then boomed on. Um, I think we this is karma in its finest. We had another tank attempt where the tank tried to kill us. He actually killed Lewis in the process of doing so, and we easily wiped the floor with him after. We got to the next crescendo event, which is with the train. Um. I ran like a bitch. I just hauled ass, threw a pipe bomb, and we left the bots to die.
I'm trying to get to kill him faster, sorry. It's not gonna get any better yet. Hold on! Gotta heal! We had to wait for the bots to die in order to complete the chapter, so we did so. Um, funny enough, Blood Harvest I thought was going to be the hardest one, well, besides Crash Course, and well, it actually wasn't. It was so, so I, I, I've been on repeat like a loop, dude, like, it's so easy. It was so easy, I even, like, purposely, like, fucked us over by shooting cars. That's how easy it was. So we threw a pipe bomb next to it, bro? I threw it all the way over. I'm not stupid! Um, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. For the crescendo event, it was super easy. We were able to just completely blast through it, and then there was a tank up ahead, and I did what I do best when it comes to tanks. But I get hit from that! He's on me! You're good, you're good, you're good, I give you time. I gave the moral support through the sniper rifle as I peered through the little crevice of the door. I don't think I hit that tank a single time, by the way. I even tried to kill Lewis. He, he was on his own. They, they, they were on their own, all right? Thank you. We did well, that was easy. <laughs> as soon as we started the next chapter, there was a tank immediately on our asses. As soon as we left the safe room, there was a tank. I don't know why this kept happening. This is this is like the second or third time this has happened to us. But I did what I did best. I ran back in the safe room like a bitch, got out my hunting rifle, and just shot him from afar. And this time we we're able to actually easily beat him and got up to our next part where we had to go through a f bunch of like fields, I guess a cornfield, and deal with a bunch of infected because birds chirped. I don't know what's up with the Gashino event. Why did a bunch of birds chirp and it triggered a horde? I'm not really too sure. Are they zombie birds? I don't know, but I ended up getting down and ended up getting my ass kicked from this. By the way, it wasn't just me. The bots got down and everything. Dr. Cum, once again, coming in clutch. He, I, we need to counter. Counter how many times Dr. Cum has come in clutch in this video. I mean, I want to hear his name too. I want to see that written down. <laughs> anyway, I yield myself. We get to the next area. This is the finale. The finale, we don't, we, we didn't really have a special holdout point in mind, but we went out where the this little spot is right here. I don't have a cinematic for it at all uh, because I didn't feel like actually re-recording it. And we just held out here and all the commons and everything were coming right towards us. Even the tank. Uh, I got the hunting rifle because, you know, you can make a special fly in this game. And you can easily kill specials with the hunting rifle. We managed to wipe out our first tank. He wasn't too hard. He was out in the open. So all we had to do was avoid his rocks and a log that he could smack in order to instant down us. And so what we did was we just unloaded on him and... And the more you shoot at the tank, the slower he is. Um, I don't think it stacks, but he does slow down when you shoot at him. And for the second tank, we ran back into the house. And we just dealt with the horde by getting a bunch of ammo. Bill was stupid, and he didn't move as far back as he could. And like I said, for the second tank, it was the same exact rodeo. We just completely mowed him down, overwhelmed him with as much ammo as we had. And it was it was easy as that, man. I, I cannot explain to you how easy it was. Besides me failing to shoot this like propane tank that I had, it was easy as that. Alright, oh, alright, we gotta make it to this truck. Oh, he's on his own, that little bitch. Oh, let's get the fuck in here. He, he, uh, he died. Look at him. Look at him. I'm down. There wasn't even a tank at the end there. Let's go. What are you trying to prove? We completed all the fucking... That was easy, man. People are like, man, this is so hard. My friend 2's is actually kind of hard. Yeah, this was this was cake. But I, I don't know if we did all of them for that too. We, on Realism Expert, we were stuck on one and it was the passing, or it was the sacrifice. Oh no, we still have the sacrifice to do. Ship. Yeah, which we, we gotta do here too. Bonus map, yay! It's the sacrifice. We're doing the last sacrifice. It's the last map we need to do. All right, for the sacrifice, we start off on the train. This is the big boy one. So instead of me playing as Francis, I'm playing as Bill. And there's a specific trophy or achievement, whatever terminology you want to use, that requires you to play as Bill for the sacrifice. If you guys know about the game, you already know what it is, so I'm not even going to explain it. But we ended up alerting a horde, and we have to fight a tank, and there's just so much shit that happens. So I'm just going to play it out for you here. Jump. 
Oh my god, I forgot there's a random fucking Thomas just randomly spawned for no reason. Ah, just kill the tank. I'm fucked here, dude. Ah, his tight, his beautiful underwear that he has on. Add another Dr. Cum clutching to your calendars. If you guys are counting it in below, there's a witch hiding in that corner. Keep that in mind because we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's open the door! Oh, oh my god! And the focus on surviving is great. Well, so much for not disturbing any witches. Bro. Listen, when there's two in one fucking level, uh, alright, listen, whatever. Right next to each other, too. They're right next to each other. Add this to your counter once again. The doctor come, came in clutch when we were, needed it so much. He rescued me from the closet. Uh, there's probably a joke in there somewhere. We got to the next chapter, and the next chapter was actually pretty easy as well. We just made a break for it, and we used the bot's bait, and we completely booked it until I encountered something really special, something really unique. Chill on the table, dude. She really wants that cough. She's inside of a box. So this segment was going to be all about a witch inside of a box. It was a whole thing. If you guys want to make a song like that for me, I'd be much appreciative. But I couldn't do it. It was too cringe on my end. I can't sing for shit. Here's a picture I made. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> <sighs> we had a tank spawn again at the worst time. I'm in black and white health. I was praying to whatever whatever afterlife, whatever being that was out there watching us. I was praying that he did not go near me. I completely ignored the tank until I was like, fuck it, I have to kill him. Right in front of me. Oh god, what the fuck? Why did it crouch me there? What a fucking nerd. I'm gonna go got him. God, I got him. So there's a glitch where people can join your private games and for some it makes it public after a certain period of time. So oh, we okay. had our game now public and we we're halfway through the, the chapter. So we had somebody join our game, we had a vote to kick them, and then we did the crescendo event. The crescendo event, for some reason, birds just it's just like blood harvest. Birds just make a bunch of chirping noises and it alerts an entire horde. Makes zero sense in the grand scheme of things, but we got to the next chapter relatively easily, um, and I let uh, Dr. Cum die. I, I, he, he was on his own. I, he, he was on his own. For some reason, though, I wanted to stay in black and white just for the cinematic of it and for the finale that we reached. Yeah, yeah, that's in the passing, but in this one, there's only three. <laughs> So, do them all at the same time and die. Do them all at the same time. Reloading. This is Left 4 Dead 1, so we can cheese. We have more cheese spots. And this finale is very unique. You need to activate three generators, and then eventually we'll lower the bridge, and then you activate the final generator. Now, I was in black and white, and well, yeah, it didn't really go well. So, here's a clip of that. But you must have at least two survivors. Francis went. Are you kidding me? Fuck you, random. Common. What the fuck? Go ah! I hate this game. Who ever missed this fucking phone class now? <laughs> so I'm fucking so fucked here. I'm gonna duke him. He spawned on top of me. Oh, <laughs> just bails. Or take your baby. Francis, stop pounding me! At least shoot the fucking hunter for Alright, so going forward, I had Dr. Cum just kill me so that way I could respawn inside the closet and not waste a med kit. And I used pills instead of um, healing myself, or I just outright healed myself. It just depends on the circumstance. We started the generators, and we pretty much took it one at a time instead of trying to start it all at once. Because if you start it all at once, you have to fight two tanks at once. And I, 
I I'm not doing that. I wasn't doing all that. I wasn't making my life even more hell than it had to be. So we took it slowly at a time, and well, we still had a couple of failed runs here and there. Especially one we had randoms join our game, and since we were kicking them, they just completely, like, just, you know, downed us and finally fired us, and it just made us fail some of the runs. <laughs> <laughs> Another special, needs a smoker. Get to the bridge. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get Lewis on there now. I gotta go down there. I need you. Oh my That's god. That's okay, Pop. Go. No, oh. I. Just three tanks. I can't get recovery bar. I'm sorry, brother. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just let's try that again. <laughs> Let, let's try that again, okay? Just eat, shoot at the tanks. Shoot at the tank. I got you, bomb. I'm gonna turn it. I did it! Yes! <laughs> did you I immediately did get killed as guys. soon as that happened? I did it for you guys. Oh! In memory of King Hole Booty Land III. <laughs>